What's unusual about the 2014 Detroit North American International Auto Show is that the manufacturers are focusing more on performance vehicles than on fuel economy. It's as, that it's as if they've got together and decided to say, let's focus on performance this year. It's as if they're trying to make uh, uh, show drivers that there's still fun in driving. The issue with the corporate average fuel economy is an important one for the manufacturers. They have goals uh, to meet of 54.5 miles per gallon for the fleet uh, by 2025. And in the past three to four auto shows, they've introduced a number of hybrids and advanced diesels and pure electric vehicles that are going to help uh, meet this goal. Probably up to 10 different uh, vehicles that are focused on performance either in concept or in, or in uh, production vehicles uh, that are shown this year at the auto show. You have the uh, Chevrolet uh, Corvette that won North American Car of the Year Award. You have uh, introductions by Nissan, uh, Kia, by uh, VW, by uh, BMW. When you look at all the performance vehicles on the floor at the auto show, you'd be hard pressed to see the average fuel economy that has increased by five miles per gallon per vehicle sold in the U.S. since 2007. This is based on research that has been done at the U of M Transportation Research Institute. Now you may not think that this is very much, but when you look at the, this type of increase over the next 10 years as they're trying to meet their corporate average fuel economy goals, this is significant. So in this year's auto show, there's lots of sizzle with the introduction of numerous performance vehicles, but in the background, the manufacturers are focusing on fuel economy in their core vehicles where they're going to get the most bang for the buck in terms of meeting their corporate average fuel economy goals.